in problem number one, it says find the binomial expansion of the quantity 2 plus x raised to 5. Uh, I can use combination to find the coefficient of the terms, or I may use Pascal triangle. So here I opted to use Pascal triangle so I can find the coefficients. So for expanding, uh, I can use this part where these are the coefficients of uh, the terms. So 1 plus 2 raised to 5, x to 0 plus 5, 2 raised to 4, x raised to 1 plus 10, 2 raised... So we are just decreasing the, the uh, exponents of 2 and increasing the function of... increasing the exponent of x. So simplifying this, I'll have 32 plus 80x plus 80x squared plus 40x cubed plus... 10x raised to 4 plus x raised to 5. Hence, find an appropriate value for 2.05 raised to 5 correct to 4 decimal places. When we say hence, we must use our answer previously. So if you didn't do that, you won't get the you won't get any point. So I can express 2.01 as 2 plus 0 0.01 raised to 5, where this is the value of my x, 0 0.01. So I can use this, 32, substitute the value, 80 times 0 0.01, which I can, uh, I can dribble my answer somewhere here to find the answer, that's 0 0.8. And then x squared, so I can have 0 0.01 times 0 0.01 times 80. I can dribble my answer here and, and get this. And uh, I can have 40x cubed, so 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01, which is very easy to multiply. And multiplied by 40, I have this. Since I'm only after four decimal places, I don't have to go farther up to x raised to 5. So summing this up, I'll have 32.80804, but I have to... Uh, this is good enough because it's five decimal places, which I can round to four decimal places and the answer is 32.8080. For problem number two, uh, there is a graph y. The graph y against x has a gradient. So y has a gradient of, at any point equal to 3x squared plus 2. It passes through the point 0, 1. Find the equation of the graph. So the given graph is a gradient in this form so it says that this is the first derivative of x the gradient the slope so the given is not really y but f prime x or the derivative of x a derivative of the function is equal to 3x squared plus 2 so to get y i have to do the reverse get the get the integral of the function 3x squared plus 2dx and get this simplifying i can have this Be uh, yeah find the equation of the graph so the graph is equal to x cubed plus 2x plus c now how do i find the value of c it passes through point zero 0.01 so i can substitute 0 for x and y for 1 and get this function so the equation of the graph is x cubed plus 2x plus 1. Find the equation of the normal to the graph passing through 0, 1 in the form of ay plus bx plus c where a, b, and c are integers. So we have gradient at x equals 0. Uh, we can use this function, substitute, and to get the value of our m, remember when we're looking for the slope, we get the equation of the slope. So the slope here by substitution is equal to 2. But we're looking for the equation of the normal. So the slope that we're using is 1 half. And then afterwards, we can uh, substitute, we, we can find the equation using point slope formula y minus y sub 1 equals m x sub 1 minus x sub 0, uh, x, minus, uh, x, sorry, x minus x sub 1, but where, where our 
y sub 1 is 1 and our x sub 1 is 0. So, substituting for that, y minus 1 equals negative 1 half. So, x minus 0 is still x. So, simplifying further, we'll get this. For problem number 3, so let A and B be events such that probability of A equals 0.4, probability of B equals 0.5, and the probability of the union of A and B is 0 0.6. Determine with justification if A and B are independent. So if we're going to uh, figure out how that looks like, so there, there should be, there is an interest, uh, there is a union of A and B. But the union of A and B here is 0.6, okay? But our A is 0.4 and our B is 0 0.3. We may say there is an intersection, an overlapping. So the probability of A intersection B is, you know, if A union B, if they are mutually independent, it will be 0 0.9. But here, the, uh, the stop is 0 0.6. So there is an intersection of 0.3. So, probability of A times, pro to find if it's independent, the probability of A times probability of B will give 0 0.4 plus, uh, 0 0.4 times 0 0.5, which is equal to 0 0.2. But the probability of A intersection B, as shown here, is not equal to the probability of A times probability of B. We may say 0 0.3 is not equal to 0 0.2. Therefore, they are not independent. They will be independent if the product of A and B is equal to the intersection of A and B. Okay? So, that would be all for this uh, exercise.